Okay, so I found my way to the floats. And oh. Behind me right now, you've got Dude. a. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Hello. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Sunday and it's an absolute stunner of a spring day. Today I'm heading to Omihachiman to check out a float festival. Omihachiman is about 35 minutes from Kyoto. On the way, there are gorgeous views of the largest freshwater lake in Japan, Lake Biwa, as well as stunning snow capped mountains. Okay, so made it to Omihachiman Station, but I have absolutely no idea where the floats are. So, we're gonna try and find them. Let's go float hunting. Are you... It's, uh, you wanna be on the vlog? <laughs> I had known I would've put on makeup and everything. Come on. Yeah. No one watches this anyway. <laughs> so we're just waiting for Unsovo to join us. There she is. Oh. <laughs> Do you want to be on the vlog? No. Oh Why gosh. not? Uh, you want to do another take? All right. Okay. Look at that strut. I see me some floats up ahead. Festival season has begun in Japan. So I found my way to the floats. And behind me right now, you've got a. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Hello. Oh. <laughs> Once I had made friends with Mr. Tanaka, he invited us to carry the float with them. <laughs> uh, let's, uh, let's join us. Uh, oh, we'll be boring. Oh, yeah, join us, join us, join us, join us. Yes, that would be so fun. Yeah, but we won't have most of the weight. Okay, okay. Will we? Oh, take a picture. Oh, take a picture. Oh, thank you. My name is Alisa. What's your name? Girls only? No, no, no. Few boys. Few boys. Okay, few. Two, three. All right. The girls are on. Yeah, you're lifting. Yeah. You can just explain what oh. cho yare means. Cho yare means cheer up. Cheer up. Cheer. 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 cheer up. The Sagi Matsuri dates back to the 16th century. The 13 neighborhoods of Omihachiman each compete to make the best floats or sagi cho out of straw, wood, and food ingredients like beans, dried seaweed, and noodles. The sagi cho are decorated with the current year's Chinese horoscope animal. 2017 is the year of the rooster. During the daytime, the sagi cho are paraded through the streets. By late afternoon on Sunday, the sagi cho battle each other. And then in the evening, the sagi cho are set alight in an impressive fiery blaze. Ah, it's the beer cart for the uh, pillars. Ah, uh, that's very Japanese. So they got a bigger float budget on, on this one. Okay, so notice the bamboo pole there. The guy is clearing the electrical power line so they can pass under. Oh, another casualty. There's got to be an easier way, Japan. Okay, so I have the low battery indicator already going on my camera. This is the treatment that happens when I'm with people that don't look Japanese. <laughs> Elisa and Nsova are making friends with the locals. I never get this. This never happens to me. No one ever speaks to me. They always want to speak to Nsova and Elisa. But enough talking. You wanted to see some floats battle it out. Wow. 
This one was in a fight. Let the games begin. The rules are simple. The float that takes the most damage is the loser. I'm still not sure who the exact winner was. After the battle, we decided to check out the festival stalls, called Yatai in Japanese. This is Hashimaki. Basically, it's a pancake on some chopsticks. Right, so I've got the strawberry custard mochi, and it is delicious. <laughs> All the usual festival food suspects are here. Takoyaki, karage chicken, yakisoba, choco banana, spiral potato, and taiyaki, which is a sweet or savory stuffed waffle in the shape of a fish. this without dropping it. Ah! Mm. Oh, it's yummy though. It's a yakisoba sembe. Yakisoba on a rice cracker, mayo and egg and all the deliciousness. In addition to the delicious food that they serve, you've got lots of fun games and prizes that you can win at the festival. Ooh, shiny. A couple of small fireworks signal the start of the Sagicho burning. The townsfolk dance around the Sagicho, which painstakingly took months to make, as it burns in a matter of minutes. But that's a big part of Japanese culture, which is appreciating the beauty of something while we can. If you were wondering how they put the fires out, this is how. And that's it. My name's Lin Yunt. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button if you did. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. And I'll catch you next time. <laughs> it's so shiny!